Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have another 3v3 Iron Man, and the winning team will be winning $150, and the losing team will be losing $150, and also make sure to go ahead and check out the Coliseum Discord link down below in the description if you want to play in any Iron Mans or money matches like this, and with that being said, let's just hop right in, so... We're going to have White on Team 1 versus Roberto Alt on Team 2. And then we are going to see Team 2 win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. And they are going to decide to go first. 40 versus 41. Opening hands, we have Revolt, Droplet, Kit, Called by an Ash. Also, this is post bowed Forgot to say that. And then they have Black Metal, Nocto, Rocket Synchron, Chaos Emperor, and Nocto. So, very lucky that they did get to go first. Said your Iron Man opponent, right? Yep, so go ahead, normal summon, turn down the Striker Dragon, and then Nocto 3, 2, 1. So go search out the Red MD, go search out the Boot Sector launch, and then slapping those in the Romulus effects, draw white, and then add Ravine. So the white's a pretty good draw there. Banish, summon, and then effect, special summon out, and then activate Ravine. Ravine, discard, dump, abs, abs effect, add tracer, and then not adding tracer. They're going to ash it. All right, fair, fair. Uh, yeah, that, that's like a pretty normal ash spot, I would say. It's not too many places to ash the deck once they get to a point like this, and this can cut off the tracer access. So... They are going to get rid of those, go into seal, and then banish, special summon white, and then activate the Chaos Emperor effect, pay a thousand, and then put back the Striker Dragon into the extra deck, go for Striker Dragon, and then white, search black, then banish white, special summon out black, turning that into Pisty, and then Pisty effect the special summon, bring out the abs, and then activate boot. Boot effect, summon rocket synchron, and then turn those into Popega Ruler, Popega Ruler effect. Alright, let's see, what will this hit? Uh, we can see him playing multiple black metals, which more people have been doing recently. We also see like droplets for going second cards, hit safer too, and then they're gonna grab the rocket synchron, and then turn those into a seal, and then Banish Light Dark, Summon. This actually has to go here because, you know, you're summoning from the Extract. That's kind of how it works. But turn all those into Appalooza. And then pass turn. Draw Nerval. And then I'm going to start off the turn by activating Called By on Seal. And then in response, Chain Droplet. It's going to negate. So it can't chain to it. Yeah, they got rid of a spell and monster. And then that's going to get banished because of, you know, Called By. Kit, dump Nerval, Nerval effect to go search, grab Fractal, said what a sacker. <laughs> and then normal summon out the Nerval, and then activate Nerval, banish special Blossom, Blossom special out Fractal, and then slap those into the silver, Blossom effect to draw Imperm, put back, and then Fractal effect, banish to summon out a Link 2, so summon out the Double Dragon Lords. And then turn those into access code. And then activate the effect. Gang attack. Banish. Pop. Pop. Game. So moving on into game two now. We are going to see our Dragon Link buddy decide to go first. Opening hands. We have Tanky, Nerval, Storm, Nerval, and Fusion Destiny. So th there's some of the post bode stuff. Uh, I tried Fusion Destiny in this deck. It's definitely not bad it's interesting honestly there's a lot of different scenarios where it can be used differently like if you open up like this hand going first would definitely be good um but like something like a fractal infusion destiny you can end on like revolt hero and then you're gonna have your follow-ups through like nerva celestial enforcer so like it, it's pretty good there and then they have Anti-Spell, Black, Nocto, Seyfried, and Nib. So, ooh, that's, that's going to be a very good trade, leaving them with just Nervals. So, Normal Summon out Seyfried, and then turn that into a Striker Dragon. 
Striker, Nocto, Summon, go search out Boot, and then get rid of those, go for Romulus, Effects, draw Quick Launch, add Ravine, their draws off Nocto have been insane, they drew White in Quick Launch, Ravine, discard, dump Levy, and then Safer Effect, banish, grab back the Levy, and then they're going to banish Nib, Special Summon out Black, slap those into a Seal, Black search White, and then... They're going to activate Quick Launch, Summon Out Tracer, Tracer Effect, Pop Ravine, Summon Out from the deck, and that's going to Summon Out the Recharger, and then turn those into Popega Ruler, alright, alright, let's go, is this going to hit? Uh, Abs, Chaos Space, Black Metal, not bad, not bad, then they're going to go ahead and be grabbing back the Black Metal there. And then Abs Effect to go search. Search out Rocket Synchron. And then Banish Darks for Levy. Levy Effect hit this Nerval. That one. The one next to Storm. Alright, hit, hit, hits the middle one. And then activate Chaos Space. Banish, put back Striker Dragon, draw Nocto. Uh, then Special Summon out White by Banishing Tracer. Turn those into an IP, and then banish the light and dark, summon this, overlay those, go for the number 22 set, and pass. Draw Fusion Destiny. Yeah, I just flipped that, and that's next game. So, going on into game three now. Ooh, they actually, I wonder how long it took them to side deck. Because they had to say, like, hello, like, what's up? So, took them... Um, Took him like three minutes to side deck. But opening hands, we have Nerval, Foolish, Dasher, Order, and Fusion Destiny. Order is pretty good. And then Ash, Droplet, Chaos Space, Tracer, and Gamma. So they have plenty of going second cards here. Go ahead, start off by activating the Foolish Burial, Dump Kit, Kit Effect, Chain Ash Blossom, Normal Summon Out, Nerval, and then go for Owl Mirage, Nerval Effect to Surge, grab the Fractal. And then activate Fusion Destiny. It's going to dump one brick from hand, one from deck. Summon Enforcer, set order, and pass turn. Draw Imperm. And then they're going to start off the turn. They said thinking real quick. Go ahead and Imperm the Enforcer. Chaos Space. And then they're going to chain the order there. Yeah. They said think. They're going to normal summon out Tracer. Uh, DV dodge for a sec. You got this man. Imperial order too strong. Yeah, or order is definitely a pretty strong card, especially versus dragon. Like I really like order and anti spell against this deck. You know, it's good against most decks, but because this deck they get a lot of their extra stuff by going for like Romulus and Striker Dragon to search the field spells for free. So like you know for a fact these cards are like always going to be at least decent, even if they open up like an all monster hand. But that is going to be it for match one. Moving on into match two, we're going to see White versus Prince. Then we will see Prince win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoe, and they are going to decide to go first. 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Droplet called by Imper. Holy. Lucky they didn't go first. Then they have Toucan, Gold Sark, Prosperity, Jack in the hand, and called by. So. We have Flunderies, or I don't even know what the name got changed to. It's like Flounderies or something like that. Oh, I'm just going to keep calling it Flunderies until I get yelled at a lot. But this name sounds way better. I don't, I don't like, they changed Flunderies to something dumb. They changed Xiong Gen to Sword Soul. Like, man, they, 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 they made the names dumb for those decks. Activate Prosperity, Banner 6, and then look at the top 6. They're going to grab the Book of Moon there. And then also see what else is there. We see some uh, Maximus targets. Will we see another Merry Christmas? So go ahead, put those back. Some some point throughout this Iron Man, I hope we see another Merry Christmas. Go ahead, activate, reveal three. And then they're going to take the Robin. The opponent's going to grab the Eagle. Honestly, pretty standard. Gold Sark, Banish Robin. Normal summon out, Eagle, Eagle 1, Robin 2, Chain Imperm, Chain Book of Moon. So they get to add back Robin, 
and then search out the empen from the decks in the hand. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, see that that's like the Flunderies, and this is the, this is the new name, the Flow, the Flow Wonderies. Like so weird. And then you get their extra summon, activate the effect, chain Ash Blossom, chain called by, get rid of that, and then search the statue. Then tribute those, this goes to the graveyard because it wasn't face up, go for Empen, and then Empen effect, go search out map, and then get their extra summon there. Uh, they already used Robin effect to add itself back. Yeah, I said never mind. Alright, good, they didn't accidentally like, cheat there or anything. And then map effect, go ahead, banish eagle, summon, and then effect, add back, and then pass turn. Um, all right, so this works past draw kit and oh, another thing about getting like, uh, it actually came up a decent amount for me. If someone activates like Jack in the hand, you play this deck, uh, you can Kuraz discard this cause it's a wing beast, but they draw an engine card there. So they're going to go ahead and they are going to activate called by hit the Eagle then chain droplet, get rid of two, so negate the empin, the statue, and now the map summon out isn't going to do anything. Then kit effect the dump, so kit dump Nerval, Nerval, add Fractal, and then normal summon out the Fractal, Fractal effect, banish, go for bear bloom, and then bear bloom effect, discard, special summon out Nerval. And then Fractal Effect, send itself to dump from the deck to the graveyard. Nerval Effect, banish the special summon out to double dragon lords. And then they're going to turn those into an omen. Omen Effect to banish map. And then go for Blossom. And then Omen Effect to search, grabbing the rescue cat. And then Effect, special summon out rescue cat. Cat Effect, summon out two. And then get rid of those to go for Anaconda. Cat is a four. Don't they have four banished? Oh, no. They, ah, that's my bad. That's my bad. I, yup, they can't search that. I completely forgot that that got hit with called by turn one. Yeah, yeah, they can't search out Cat, but it, they'll still be able to play for sure. Yeah. So go ahead, search out kit. Then blossom, special summon out the kit. Then activate that effect. So they are going to banish, special summon out the silver. I mean, this is just better. Like, this is just better than what they were going for initially. Then, yeah, go ahead, pay 2000. Dump all that stuff, summon out Enforcer, battle phase, so they're going to attack, attack, you know, just beat over everything here, and then the opponent's only card left is going to be Eagle, which is negated by Called By, pass, draw Robin, ooh, okay, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a pretty good draw, so effect, and then effect, so add itself back and then go ahead and search out man is this really what they changed the name to starry uh it's just ostrich and then summon effect dd crow the empen extra summon out token token effect and then chain silver and then well it doesn't target and then chain enforcer uh, they're doing this before Emping comes out because that will make it so that way this stuff cannot activate. So go ahead, pop itself, pop Tukin, summon back out kit, grab Emping, and then tribute summon for Emping. And then, yeah, they're going to get Enforcer as the last chain, and then they're going to get those effects. Go grab Trap, go search. And the Dreaming Town. It's so weird seeing like the TCG names after I've seen like the OCG names for so long. Go ahead, attack silver, and then they're going to set, bounce back, draw foolish, standby phase, enforcer come out, uh, and then enforcer effect, go ahead, pop the back row, enforcer graveyard effect, move to the main phase, 
that normal summon out kit, set foolish, celestial effect, banish, draw revolt, and nib. Then set revolt, pass turn. So this is not uh this is a this is an interesting game state. Summon itself back. Then they're gonna activate duality, grab prosperity. Now obviously not grabbing either shifters there. Then activate prosperity, banish six. Oop, accidentally revealing that there. Then look at the top six. Then they're gonna grab map. We can also see that they're playing the scary C in their deck. And put those back to the bottom. Now a lot more people have been asking for Flunderese decks or Flunderese replays. So there you go. Go ahead, Empen attack, activate the effect, pop. Then activate that effect there in the graveyard. Main phase two. They're going to normal summon effect. And then activate Ostrich Effect, add back, and then go search, grab the Mega Monarch, and then normal summon effect. It's gonna DD Crow their Empin, and then extra summon out the Monarch, Monarch Effect, Chain Link 1, and then Toucan Chain Link 2. And then they're gonna chain Revol in response. So go ahead and summon out. And that was summoned properly, by the way. So, they're going to go ahead and summon all those, and that was also summoned properly. Go for Omen. Then, said, how did you summon Omen? Yeah. So, they're going to get a whole bunch of effects here. Yeah, go ahead. Grab all those. Banish. Put back. Then, activate map. Map effect. It's going to... Banish the winds, normal summon out Toucan, Toucan effect, grab Empin, then summon out Robin, Robin effect, and Eagle effect, add back, and then go search, yeah. Yeah, then get rid of those, go for Empin, Empin effect, and Robin effect, add back, and then go search out the scary C, and then set. Um, in main phase two, they're going to activate Nib. So, tribute everything. And then they're going to uh, probably not activate that. There's no real need to. So, just pass over a token. Draw Imperm. Then they're going to discard Nerval, summon Karaz. Nerval effect. Grab Kit. Then Karaz effect. Yeah, this is just going to be game. Go for access code, effect gang attack, effect pop, and wow, that was a it's a really, really, really good game. It was 44 minutes long, too. <laughs> but going on into the next game, we're going to see Flunderies decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Dark Ruler, Rescue Cat, Ashview. Yo, this hand's kind of insane. And they have Ostrich, Map, Duality, Jack, and Robin. So start off by activating duality, and then grab the Empen, put those back, then activate map, reveal Robin, banish, and summon, get those effects. So add back, and then go search, go search out the statue, normal summon eagle, effect chain ash blossom, that tribute summon for Empen. Empen chain link one, Robin chain link two, add back, go search. And then they're just going to set pass. They decide to not go ahead and normal summon out the statue there off of the Empen or anything. Go ahead, draw Nerval, normal summon out cat, map effect, and then map's going to normal summon out Robin, Robin, Eagle. It's so crazy, like, how much you get to do on your opponent's turn. And also, this deck's grind game is pretty insane. Like, I think if this deck gets, like, more support over time, it'll be better. The way the deck is, like, worded and everything is definitely weird for, like, future support. 
But I could definitely see this deck getting better over time too, especially if we get in a format where people aren't like expecting it. And then you just like someone plays it and ends up doing well. Normal summon out eagle effect, go grab Apex. And then tribute for Apex. Rob and add back. And then activating the cat effect. Isn't it just Avion? What else did you summon it? Uh yeah, so Apex effect. Uh, well, they summoned it because, like, normal summon. That's the only time they could activate map. Then discard, chain, so normal summon, nerve all effect to go search, grab kit. The thing is, here, it's really all they have to play with is going to be. Yeah, it's going to see. The only thing they had to play with is Fusion Destiny. Draw the ostrich. Then they're going to go ahead and move to the main phase, activate map, go ahead, didn't it open well, yo, they opened like Ash, Cat, Nerval, Kuraz, Dark Ruler, Fusion Destiny, like, what, go ahead, banish, and then summon, Get those effects, add back. It's just like against this deck. I don't know, they kind of just like didn't care. <laughs> then, normal summon effect, go grab the Mega Monarch, tribute those off for the Mega Monarch. Or, whoa, for the Apex, not Mega Monarch. My bad. That normal summon out Robin, Robin effect, and Tukin effect. So, add back, go search, grab Eagle. And then normal summon effect, banish, turn those into the Mega Monarch, go for game. So, uh, also, this effect is a mandatory effect. It's not a you can effect. So, that's something that you want to know. But it was going to be game anyhow. So, moving on. Yeah, return map and ash, it doesn't matter. Going on to game three now. We are going to see our Tri Brigade player decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Ash, Cat, Fusion, Destiny. This is almost the same opening hand as last time. This was Dark Ruler. Then they have Robin, Tukin, Duality, Eagle, and Jack. They have a lot of engine here. Then Normal Summon, Effect, Tribute, Summon out from the deck, Bring out Kit, Bring out Kuraz. Then go ahead, slap those in the blossom. Kit effect. Kit dump Nerval. Nerval effect to go surge. Grabbing Fractal. And then blossom effect. Special summon out Fractal. And then activate the Fractal effect. So they are going to banish four. Go for Omen. And then get rid of those. Go for Bear Bloom. And then Omen effect. Search out Cat. And then discard Cat. Special Karaz. Karaz effect. Banish. Go for Double Dragon Lords. And then turn those into Appalooza. And then Bear Bloom, Blossom, Grab, Revolt, Put Back, Draw Ash, Put Back. And then Set and Pass Turn. So, this is extremely good. Uh, that twin will eventually trade with Judgment. They're not going to start off with it as that would be an automatic loss to an Imperial Order. Then grab Map off of that. Go ahead and activate Twin Twisters. Try to pop, and then they're going to chain Judgment. Activate Map. Map Effect. Chain Double Dragon Lords. And then, yeah, they admit defeat. GG, we need a 10 minute break after this. <laughs> Said, dang. Why didn't you set two and pass? Uh. Like, this game? I mean, they were just going to lose anyways if they set two and pass. But going on into the next match, match number three. We are going to see White Ops versus Angel. Said, I've missed you. <laughs> and then we are going to see Angel win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoe and decide to go first. 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Droplet, Nerval, Ash, Revolt, Kit, and then they have Droll, Gamma, Lulu, Etel, and Neon. 
ready to go first or second with this kind of hand. Them two. That normal summon Lulu effect, so this should be a good game one. Ash that. Whoa. It's not really going to be that great of a game one. Well, well, once I like really looked at it, like Ash on that really, uh, really slowed the hand down a lot. Go ahead and go for charge, charge effect, draw imperm, then set it past, draw nib, normal summon kit, turn that into Amirage, and then activate the kit effect, kit, dump, nerval, nerval effect to go search, and then that will go ahead and grab the caress from the decks of the hand, then drop the draw and lock bird, discard, special summon, effect, and then banish two chain imperm, but now they can go for anaconda. And then anaconda effect, pay 2k, dump. Yeah, this is like extremely good here. And they have their revolt into omen setup too. They have nib, like there's just no way that virtual world comes back here. So set, pass, draw, e -telly. Then they are going to activate the e -telly. Summon out Neon. Then Neon Graveyard Effect. So, they're going to activate Lulu. Uh, well, yeah, a little miscooked there. Lulu Effect. And then they're going to chain the Enforcer to pop. Enforcer Graveyard Effect. Then normal summon out Lulu because they started with Itali. E uh, wait. Okay, so they were targeting the one that was summoned from the graveyard, and then go for break sword. Battle phase. They're going to attack, and just let that get beat over, and then go for downward. Drop nib. Pass over a token. And then end phase revolt, they admit defeat. Moving on into game two. We are going to see Virtual World go first again. Opening hands, we have Imperm, Fusion Destiny, Dark Ruler, Ash, Tanky. Yeah, this this, this works. And they have City. Oh no. That's not what we want to see on them. Drop Dark Ruler. Go ahead, activate Tanky there. And then. Tanky, you go ahead, search out the Fractal. And then Fractal effect, discard itself, go dump. Dump kit, dump Nerval. Nerval effect, search out kit. And then normal summon, activate the effect. Banish, chain TCU, summon out the double dragon lords. Effect, go ahead, bounce that. And then fusion destiny. So fusion destiny will go ahead and dump the bricks. Summon out the enforcer. Battle phase, attack, attack, then try to attack with Enforcer, and then they're going to activate Enforcer. Go ahead, pop Chuchi. Now they're probably going to have to pop that at some point anyways, or I could force something out, so just go ahead, pop it now. And then Enforcer Graveyard Effect. Set, pass, draw e -telly. then standby phase is going to come back. Go ahead and activate city. Chain Ash Blossom to stop that. Then activate e -telly. e -telly summon out the Lulu. Battle phase, try to attack kit. You know, just let that get beat over. There's no point of like bouncing that back or anything. So, they're going to dump Nerval, Nerval search, set. Banished off Itali during the end phase, Enforcer effect, pop the set, said GG's, happens, <laughs> GG's it does. Uh, oh, uh, but, looking, yeah, that was, that was a really quick match, it was only like 19 minutes long. But we see White on the Tri Brigade deck with the Hero Package. Go ahead and sweep Team 2 in a quick, I want to say a quick fashion. Uh, you know, Game 1 and, or Match 1 and Match 3 were pretty 
quick. Match two was a really, really, really good match, though, with Flunderies versus Tri Brigade. That was actually a pretty insane match, I'm not going to lie. Uh, for, like, what the decks were and playing against each other, it was definitely nice. But there's not really too much more to say here. Um, if I sound a little bit weird, I probably should have said this at the beginning. Uh, it's because I'm sick. I've been sick. And, yeah. So, that's probably why I sound a little bit weird. But, you know, the grind doesn't stop just because you're sick. It's not, an it's not an excuse. But, again, make sure to go ahead and check out the Coliseum Discord link down below in the description. And the DB Grinder, signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.